After spending 10 days in South America, it is evident that Congress needs to approve FTA status for both Panama and Colombia. At a time when our country needs to get back to work, every $1 billion in increase in ag exports from the U.S. supports 9,000 U.S. jobs, and it is now time for the Obama administration to present that proposal to Congress and for Congress to ratify it. Before we leave you today, we want to thank some folks who helped us along on our trip here to South America. We want to thank Chris Garza of the American Farm Bureau for getting us on the right plane, getting us to the right hotel, and generally getting us to the right meetings on time. And we also want to thank Jonna Miller of the American Farm Bureau for her reporting during our program today. Jonna also served as our videographer. We're going to hear more from Jonna on next week's program. Well, that does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from Panama. Join us again next week when we are back in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, where Holly and AJ are cooking up a delicious Louisiana dish using those delicious Louisiana products. And remember, you can watch any of our stories online 24 hours a day. You know the address, twilatv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Danham. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.